for the same God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond everything we could ever dream of or ask or think in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We're coming here this morning. We want to lift up. We want to pray out. Uh, and we're going to go into a time of worship, uh, praise and worship after as well. And we're going to open heaven. And we're going to petition God to do something. We're going to ask him to do something great that will shock and will confuse the minds of men in this. This is a time where we need God so much and a lot of people don't even know it. We have to go out there more and just evangelize and give them something, you know, something tangible because people are out there, they're dying. People are looking for something. People are grasping for answers and understanding of this time, you know. So it is time I'm urging you. Pastor went to evangelize. I couldn't go with him last week, you know, and he went by the university and stuff and went into town. And I'm going to urge us to try if we can, you know, go out more out there. Hallelujah. And try to just give people something tangible. So if you can make that one of your goals, if it's even one person, just to speak to them about God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let us just pray again. That we're going to pray. We're going to lift the church up because we need some praise for the church. And we're going to pray against every evil arrow that has been released against this ministry. Hallelujah. Father God, we come before you this morning. And we're going to lift, we're lifting up Christian Gold House ministry before you. Father God, only you can see and only you that knows what's going on in the spiritual realm. Father God, and you say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers uh, and the spiritual wickedness uh, and rulers in high places. Father God, and we come this morning and we are pulling down every ruler in high places, every principality, every spiritual wickedness. We are fighting against it this morning. We are coming against it. We plead the blood of Jesus as we cover this ministry in the blood, under the blood. We build a fence of fire around the ministry and everyone within this ministry. We pray, Father God, dear Jesus, for a revival. We pray, Father God, for you to open the doors of people who are searching, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we come this morning. Hear our petitions this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we are here this morning. We'll come here. We might be few, but it says where two or three are gathered is in our midst. So don't feel afraid. Just open up your mouth and pray because he will hear you. Yes, let us terrify the kingdom of the devil this morning and let us glorify the kingdom of God. That when we come here, that's what we come to do. Glorify the kingdom of God and terrify the kingdom of the enemy, right? Because they say prayer is a weapon that us Christians, we use it. We don't go out there with gun and, M, you know, what's the guns? M16 and the Magnum and the Mach 11s. We come with prayer. We use praise and worship, but prayer as well is one of our strongest weapons. So let's pray. Let us just enjoy going before him and this time that we have, right? Let's just lift up all the petitions to him because he's hearing us. He, we might not think that he, he answers in our time or speedily sometimes, but his timing is not our timing. A day, a thousand years to us is like a day. In the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's lift up the ministry and our lives once again before him. Let's pray. Let's just lift up the ministry again and the man of God before him. Hallelujah. Father God, we lift up, Father God, Christian Gold House ministry. And we lift up each and every one. We lift up every problems. We lift up every situation to you this morning, Father God. host of angels. Father God, send hosts of angels in every situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you said you will build your church upon the rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Father God, you have built this church and you have built it on a rock. You are our strong foundation and nothing, Father God, can 
remove it. Nothing can crumble it, Father God. The, the gates of her hell will not prevail and shall never prevail against the church of God. It is your word, God, and we stand on your word this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we cover the church, the ministry, and everyone, we plead the blood of Jesus, Father God, from the pulpit to the pew, from the downstairs to the outside, to the surroundings, to this Liverpool, we plead the blood of Jesus. We cover each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for protection. Hallelujah, Jesus. We pray for your divine protection in the mighty name of Jesus because we are more than conquerors and we trample upon serpents, Father God. You give us the power, Father God, to trample on bears and serpents and that is what we are doing this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You've given us the victory. And though we walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, we will fear no evil. We will fear no one. We will fear nothing from the pits of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to sing victory is mine again. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Is victory yours? I told Satan, get thee behind me. Victory today is mine. Yes, victory is mine. I can feel it. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. He's releasing it. I told Satan, get thee behind me. Victory today is, oh, I say victory is ours. Victory is ours. Victory today is ours. So what are we going to do? We tell Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Next scripture that I had that I want to read this morning is from Psalms 140. If you've got your Bibles, you could turn with me to Psalm 140. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we feeling good this morning? Hallelujah. We're just going to read quickly verse 1 to 3, and we're going to pray on this. Psalms 140 says, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their heart continually and are gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, and the adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purposed, purposed sorry, to overthrow my goings. So as we're still breaking chains, we're going to pray and break every chain and destroy every yoke. As verse 3 says, as verse 4 says, sorry. Keep me from the hands of the wicked and preserve me from the violent man. We who have purpose to overthrow my goings. We're going to pray against every violent man, every evil man who has spoken anything negative over your life or against the church. Hallelujah. If we could just stand up and just pray, because when you're warring, you don't war sitting down, you know. You war standing up, get in the mode of war, put on the armor of God, and we're going to pray this prayer. Father God, we lift up the church before you again. We lift up each and every one. And we come against every yoke and every evil word. As your word says in Psalms 140 verse 4. It says, preserve us from the wicked. Preserve us from the violent man who have purposed to overthrow our goings. Guide our footsteps, Lord. Us, Father God, in every each and every one of our, our, our doings, our undertakings, Father God, be in the midst, Father God, dear Jesus. No evil shall overcome us in the mighty name of Jesus because we are more than conquerors. We're putting on the armor or the whole armor of God this morning, Father God, to fight against the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. We have prayed. 
Father God, we invoke the blood this morning over every proceedings as we continue with our service in honor and glory of you and we seal our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus I pray and I pray for the anointing on the man of God and I pray to cover him Father God as he come Father God today to give us a word I pray on the praise and worship team as well and I'll cover them under the blood of Jesus we pray Father God and we anoint this pulpit and we anoint from the pulpit to the pews and we cover each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus we pray for your presence this morning thank you jesus we glorify your name hallelujah could i just call on the praise and worship team Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise to his name, my friends. You can be seated. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down. For the joy of the Lord, I'm trading my sickness, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. We say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. We say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Everybody clap your hands. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. For the joy of the Lord. We say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Saying yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. We say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord with all your heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart. My God is good. My God is good. My 
God is good, is good to me. Praise Him, praise Him, the Lord always. Praise Him, the Lord always. Praise Him, the Lord with all our hearts. Praise Him, the Lord with all our hearts always. We praise. Ah! Uh -huh. 
How great 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 is our God how great how great is our I stand. 
holy God to whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we stand in awe of you. All the praise belongs to God. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We give you, we glory, give you all Jesus. the praise because we praise you, belongs to you. Hallelujah, we Jesus. were created to yes, worship Lord. you and we praise you, mighty Jesus. Lord. We give you praise. We give you praises this morning. God to our praises. You just praise oh, Lord, me. I stand in
been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your, your mercy never, never fails me all my days. All my days. I've been, been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days, all my days, I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my hands. For your mercy never fail me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God.
of your goodness with every breath that I have. Just praise him and tell him you will sing of his goodness all your, the days of your life. I will sing of your goodness. God has done so much for us and he deserves it to be praised and worshipped. Tell him, let him know of his goodness in your life. Even the very Hallelujah. breath that you, you breathe in is because Thank of this Jesus. goodness that you are Glory standing. We bless Thank you, Lord. Lord. We give you honor, Lord. We Lord. worship you. Thank you for your goodness, mighty Lord. Thank you for each and every one of us here today that you bring to worship you and worship you in spirit and in truth, mighty Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you honor, glory, and praise, mighty Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Still in the mood of worship. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your presence this morning. We give you praise, mighty God. We thank you, Father, for such a time like this. That your children have gathered here to praise you and to worship you. For you deserve the praise. You deserve the adoration. You deserve it, Lord. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Say, I'm blessed and highly favored by the Almighty God. Say, I'm blessed and highly favored by the Almighty God. Hallelujah. You are blessed and you are highly favored by the grace of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Do you believe that you are blessed? Hallelujah. Are you sure? Yes. I can't see it. If you are blessed, you have to show it. Hallelujah. 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 And show it. Let, let your mighty you know that you are blessed by shouting hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise Jesus. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. I am blessed. Yes. Glory to God. When you wake up every morning, it's a blessed day. Thank it's a you, glorious Jesus. day. It's a miraculous day. Every blessed day in your life, every minute, every minute is a blessed day, a blessed time. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because you can leave the planet Earth within a minute. So every minute that God gives is a blessing Hallelujah. and it's a miracle. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning and we bless you and we give you praise. Hallelujah. This morning I'm talking about worship. Worship. Why do we worship God? Or is the sense of us coming as a church to congregate and to sing and to worship the Almighty God? Why do we do that? Why do we wake up in the morning to sing? Have you thought of it? Have you asked yourself this question? Does it mean that, oh, maybe you want to just sing? That's why you are singing. Or maybe you want to also uh, join some, let's say, some singing competition or learning just to sing, or maybe it's in you. Why do we? Worship or sing praise. Why do we do that? Why do we have to? Or why is it necessary? God said, if we don't worship him, he even commands stones to worship him. Objects to praise him. Hallelujah. And do you know that objects worship God? Objects, stones. Trees, they give worship. Even the sea worship. The waves of the sea. Sometimes you go to the seaside and you see that it's quiet. It comes to and it's not quiet. Praise God. Hallelujah. The same thing applies to us as Christians, as children of God. That when we wake up, the first thing to do is to do what? To see, to 
praise to the Almighty God. So worship is very important. And when we read Psalm 103, Psalm 103, if you have your Bible with you, it's not a bullet Bible. You know, some people borrow Bibles. These days you can borrow it. Borrow it on the internet for YouTube, whatever you can borrow it. Yes, you can borrow Bible on Google. Hallelujah. But if it is your own, you hold it, you don't borrow it, you come with it. Praise God. Who's here who have borrowed a Bible? I believe that is what is happening. Praise Jesus. Thank God for technology. Psalm 103, verse 1, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is what? Within me. Every fiber of your being, everything that is within you, must bless the Lord. Your intestines, the cells within you, the vein. It says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. So it is your soul that blesses the almighty God. That's why the enemy is always trying to destroy your soul. Looking to hit you, kick you, do something that will, what, will affect your soul. Because if your soul is affected, there is no way you can praise him. Can you praise the almighty God when you are annoyed? When you are angry? Can you do it? Hmm? <laughs> when you are angry, angry and annoyed, something has happened and it's like it pains you. Can you have that zeal? That passion, that desire, that joy to praise God. I have not seen anyone yet. You can't. Because if your soul that you are going to use to praise God is damaged, is affected, something has happened. You cannot. And he says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. So your soul, first of all, must be what? Happy. You see, when you are happy, you, you sing and you dance. When you are happy, you do whatever you want to do. If you don't think, if you are signing check, you don't think about it. If you are buying something new, you don't think about it. Because you are hot. You are happy. When people are happy, they do things that they don't even think of. It's when their happiness is gone, then they begin to be the one that so what caused you to be happy? By first of all, creating it within you. You create it. You create happiness. You don't allow things to upset you or to annoy you. You don't allow issues to torment you and to afflict you as a child of God. Because anything at all can happen. Anything at all can what? Can happen. And he says... Bless the Lord, oh my soul. So if your soul is blessing God Almighty, the creator of the universe, the one who formed you, the one who can change, the one who can bless, the one who can open, the one who can close. If your soul is praising and blessing him, what can he do for you? Anything at all. What you haven't even asked. What you haven't even thought of, you can just release it. Hallelujah. It is awesome to consider that we have the ability to bless our creator. But times after times in scripture, we are exalted to do just that. We bless him through our praise and worship of him. We bless him through what? Our praise and worship. So there's a difference between praise and worship. 
praise. There's a difference between praise and what? Worship. Worship goes with what? Songs and happiness. Dancing. Clapping of your hands. You are caught up in the mood. And jumping. Praising him. I sing praises to your name. You are jumping. You are happy. So excited. You are expressing your inner feeling. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Do we also praise him when we are not in a good mood? Hmm? Worship and praise. These two elements. You don't do it when you are not in good mood. When you are annoying, upset, you can't. You do it when you are hot. You are happy. You do it when you are hot. You are clean and clear. You do it when you wake up and you are so excited. Praise Jesus. Praise is an expression of admiration or appreciation. When we praise someone, we tell them how wonderful we think of them. Expression. You admire something. You express, when I'm praising minister, I'm expressing how or what she has done. You are expressing it. When you come to the altar, you come before the throne of grace. The almighty God, as Paul said, enter into the throne room of the almighty God with what? Confident that you might obtain mercy. It's because of what God has done. Sammy says, enter into the gate with thanksgiving. Enter into his court with what? With praise. So that's why early morning, when we are thanking God, when we are leading prayer, you thank God. And the thanksgiving now gives you the access to enter into the court. And when you get to the court, you now begin to do what? Praise him. You praise him with all your strength. You praise him with all your heart. You praise him of what he has done, protecting you from COVID, protecting you from evil, protecting you from the attack of the enemy. Whilst you are on your bed, you did not know what was moving. Those that were thinking evil, throwing arrows, witches, wizards, those that want to, to fail in life, those that want to destroy you, distract you from what you want to achieve, those that doesn't want you even to pass and to do well in life. So when you wake up and you thank the almighty God, you praise him. You are expressing how he has been good, how he has been faithful, how he has been watching over your soul whilst you are on your bed and you didn't know what was happening. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. And that is what? Praise. It is the same with the Lord. Praise has to do with a Acknowledging God's character and power. We acknowledge God's power and what? And character. And do you know the character of God is beyond the act of God. The act of God. When people are praising, singing praise, even in the outside or in the world. When they are singing and doing things. Or dancing or a tune to their idols. You see how they get into that mood. How much more when we congregate as Christians or as a child of God and you are praising him. You see, it doesn't matter how eloquent or how good, how skillful your tongue is or how gifted. You just sing your keys the off keys and all that. The treble, the auto, the one mix all and praise him with it. Praise Jesus. You don't need special voice and special quality to go before him. All you need is what? A clean and a sincere thought, a sincere heart to see him to be your everything. Because he is all-knowing God. 
omnipotent and omnipresent. He provides, he knows your need. So when you are praising him, you are praising him for what he has done. Not only what he has done, but it is a demand, it's a requirement placed on us Christians. And so if you are a child of God and you are praising God, somebody outside the box, outside the kingdom will not understand. Your next door will not understand why this woman, every blessed day, she wakes up and prays God, sing praises. Even whilst you are going, you are on, on your way to work, on the train, it's like you are happy within you and you are praising God. Even at work, you put on a nice facial expression, expression by praising God within you. The Bible says Paul and Salas. These guys were put in prison. And in the prison, Bible says they began to sing hymns and praise God. And the other prisoners were thinking, oh, this place is not a good place. It's, a, it's like we are restricted. We are, not, we are not of our own. And you people are praising God. It's like you don't think of what you are going through. And you are praising God, singing praises at this moment of this situation, instead of you to be sad and to start weeping and to be quiet and think of how long, how many days you are going to be here, you are praising God. And that's what the enemy does to the church, does to a believer. He makes you feel moody, stress, resentment, bitter of yourself. And that's where he can hold. He can lock you and tie you. But the moment you come out of it and you begin to praise God, you are hot. You are putting shame on him. Upon all that we did to you last night, you got a strength and the power to praise him. Hallelujah. Upon all the arrows that you have been releasing, you wake up and you are singing praises. Look at those guys. Put in prison. Of preaching the gospel. Of doing good. You see, any time you are doing good. Don't think the enemy will not attack you. He will attack you. But don't let his attack overshadow you. He will send arrows. But don't let his arrows suppress you. Or change the course of your mind. Of your good will. Of how good you are. Towards your church. Towards your family. Towards your community. Towards humanity, mankind, your nation. Praise God. Even if you give an offering to God, he will attack you. Even if you are standing at the entrance being ushering, he will attack you. Praise God. Even you wake up and you are putting on your nice clothing to church to love him, he will attack you. Have you thought of it? The day that you say, oh, today I'm going to praise God, you call the taxi, you are late. <laughs> praise God. The day you say you are going to do anything good, that is the time he will attack you. But when you say you are doing bad, <laughs> he will open the door for you to do the bad. Praise Jesus. Why? He wants you to be part of his mission. And what is his mission? To draw, to destroy us and what else? Steal and kill. That is his slogan, his mission statement. So this mission statement is what his agent all the time goes around. Making sure that you being a child of the almighty God, this mission statement comes. But nothing will come against you, child of God. Don't let him. Don't give him the opportunity. When you wake up, always worship him. Sing praise. Jump in your bedroom. Hallelujah. 
you wake up, you start running, running, singing, worship, singing praise. Hallelujah. Whether you have it or you don't have it, sing praise. Let praises all the time come out of your lips in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sing praise. Sing praise. Don't be sorrowful. Don't be sad. Paul and Salad, they were singing praises. Singing praises. They were doing it. Singing praises on top of their voices. They were singing praises. And what happened? The Bible says, and the prison gates. <laughs> when I went to the prison, first time, my wife was taking me around. And the key to one prison door, <laughs> you need to be <laughs> strong to hold that key to open. So imagine, I was imagining and I was thinking to myself, so if they put you here, you are there forever. There is no way of escape. The matter, everything. But you know, upon all, there are some people that demons have possessed them that they can even push and break that thick iron bars. How much more the power of the almighty God, the supernatural power. Whilst this guy was singing praise and worshiping the almighty God, the Bible says, and the prison door open on its own accord without human effort, without man's intervention, but divine intervention. So when we worship and when we praise God, interventions take place. Suddenly, angels are being released. Suddenly, reaction. Things begin to what? Give way. Demons are scared. The hand of God begins to manifest. The power of God begins to operate. Things that you have been praying and you have been asking God, he brings answers to it. He gives you strength. The supernatural power of the almighty God comes upon a child of God that knows how to praise him. Most of the times we ponder upon our issues. We allow the enemy to rule and tricks our mind, controls us and removes us. And we neglect the weapons of our warfare. It's a weapon. You see, praise is a weapon. Hmm? Praise is a weapon to defeat the undefeatable. It's a weapon to break the unbreakable. Is the weapon to cut through. It's a weapon also to draw closer to the Almighty God. So those guys, while they were praising, the prison door opened on its own, and they were set free. Doesn't matter the chains, doesn't matter the iron bars, the gates of bronze. It doesn't matter how. They have locked you. Praise loses you. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise what loses you. Now let's read Psalm 63. Psalm 63. If you are there, read for us, please. Oh God, thou art my God. Mm -hmm. Early will I see thee. He says, early in the morning will I do what? See thee. Early in the morning. So, praise and worship is done what? Early in the morning. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And your name, I will lift up my hands. I will praise you as long as what? I live. And my lips will continue. And I will lift up my hands. We will lift up hands. Holy hands. To praise the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finish it for us. O God, thou art my God. Mm -hmm. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. He says, my soul tested what? For thee. Mm -hmm. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, 
So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Praise God. So I have seen you in what? In the sanctuary. So when we come here and we see God's presence manifesting, we don't end it here. We continue when we go home. In the morning, you wake up and you give him what? Quality praise. Why do we praise God? We praise him because he is. He is. The rewarder of them that diligently what? Seek him. <laughs> do we seek him diligently? Why do we praise him? Why do we praise God? Some praise God when they are in good mood. Some praise God when they, they are happy. God, good news. Testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, today I'm not in the good mood. I'll not go to church. <laughs> today the weather is not good. I'll not go to church. There are some they go to church when the weather is good. Some they praise God when the weather is good. It's not about whether it's good or not good. Every blessed day. Hallelujah. And he says, those that praise him, they what? He rewards them. Psalm 47, verse 6. Psalm 47, verse 6. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. He says what? Sing praises. Sing praises to what? Our king. The almighty God is your king. See how the queen of England is being worshipped. How much more the king most high our soon coming king on earth. He says, sing praises. So you sing praises to him, whether you are good, whether you are not good, whether you are in pain, whether you are not in pain, you sing praises to the most high God. Whether I have it or you don't have it, you sing praises. And as a matter of fact, when you sing it, you enjoy when you sing praises. Oh, my goodness. And that is the spirit that we have to cultivate. Cultivate the spirit of what? Praising God. Cultivate it. Amen. To praise him in your heart. Praise him to sing it. Look unto him on the finished cross and praise him. Give him praise. How good and how faithful. Because he deserves to be praised. Why do we praise him? We praise him because he deserves. Psalm 103 verse 1 to 5. We praise him because the almighty God deserves to be praised. Bless the Lord, O my soul, mm -hmm. and all that is within me. Mm -hmm. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mm. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities. Because he forgives you your heart, your iniquity. Iniquities. He did wash you. You were purified. You, he has been, you have been forgiven. That is the reason we praise him. We were like Gentiles. We belong to the earthly family. But he has delivered us and redeemed us and brought us into a glorious kingdom. A better family. Hallelujah. That is the reason we praise him. Continue. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Mm -hmm. Who healeth all thy diseases. Look at it. Who healeth all our what? Disease. He heals you of cancer. He heals you of migraine. He heals you diabetes. He heals you, name it. All sort of sicknesses and disease. COVID. He has protected you. He has given you strength. Why don't you praise him? You know how many people 
you that have lost your life. And you are fortunate and blessed to be alive. Not because of wealth. Not because of your family name. Not because of the language. Not because of the color of your skin. Not because of the school that you completed. Not because of your university qualification or whatever you have attained in life. This COVID alone is not even trying to categorize human race or nations or continent. No. It is not respecter of anyone. Whether you are a billionaire, whether you are a minister of the gospel, or a minister of state, or a businessman, or a historian, name them. <laughs> whether you are, you, are, you are a boss on your own, a footballer, an athlete, a student, a child, he doesn't know you and so oh, you, you are different. You love God. Oh, you, you don't go to church. You don't love God. Oh, you, you have been doing good to the community. So, no. The only person that he's scared of is the one that what? Praises God and love God and do his will. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your faith in God is rooted the word of God says he will not allow the sickness that he placed on the Egyptian. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So who is COVID-19? Hallelujah. If you know the word of God, he will come and knock at your door and you say, oh, this person, I cannot. Mm. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So this child, okay, let me try him with a little and see whether wow. she will Hallelujah. give up. And he tries you with some symptoms. Mm. And if you don't say, hey, I got it. Mm. I got it. Mm. Scared. You have fear of it. But if you shake it off, you say, oh, this person is one of the craziest people. I cannot. One of the, <laughs> one of, one of the faith gurus. You know what the word people say to us? The fanatics. They use the word the fanatics people. Mm. These people, <laughs> they, they, they go to church, spend hours in church. They don't know what they are doing, wasting money. Sometimes people have different thoughts when they come and uh, they ask, so how many hours do you spend in, in church? And so sometimes four or five hours and they start creating those hours that can be used to make money. You know, every hour you can make 30 pound, 50 pound, or 100 pound. There are some jobs you can get an hour thousand. So imagine if you come to God's house and spend four hours. You start calculating with, with the mind. But you don't know that if you don't have life and sickness and disease are eating you up, will you be able to wake up on your bed and go and make that money? Can you? You cannot. And so when we are praising God, we are praising him because we want his guidance. We are praising him because we want his leading. We are praising him because we want strength and we want gift of life. And gift of life come from above. The Bible declares that all perfect gifts come from above. And that is what the world don't know. And don't let the world influence you. Because we live in the world, but we don't operate in the world. And if you are going to operate in the world, the enemy will take you by surprise. And that is what is happening these days, even in the church, in the house of God. Satan is taking the church by surprise because the people, the folks that comes in, they don't know who they are worshiping. They don't understand the mercy and the power and the grace and the things that God releases upon his children. He says, who have what? Heal us of what? Our disease. 
Continue. Has redeemed thy life from destruction. Who crowned thee? He says, who has redeemed your life from the pit? Pit. Do you know how pit are? When the enemy set traps, temptations, traps, pit. The almighty God redeem you. Because sometimes you are blind and you cannot see that there's a pit there that you are going. And on your way going, you go, you are in. But because of the love of the almighty God, he redeemed you. So, oh, my son, no, I will not let you go there. Then he diverts you into another angle. He redeems your life from the pit. And he crowns you with what? Love and compassion. The almighty God crowned you with what? Love and what? And compassion. So you have so much grace and love and compassion for others. Even though they treat you bad, but you have love for them. Even though they mistreat you, they mishandle and they misjudge you, but you have compassion for them. Hallelujah. So this person upon all, but you still show love and compassion. There are some of you, your family, friends, friends around have tried to do what, but you still go and say, oh, you forget. Compassion, love. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. God has what? Redeemed you. Thank you, Jesus. The redemption plan of the almighty God is on you. Compassion. Then he satisfied my desire with what? Good things. He satisfied me with what? Good things. Hallelujah. So that my youth will what? Be renewed like the eagle. Your youth is renewed. Your life is renewed. Like what? Eek. Sister Ivy was trying to lecture me about how eagles operate. Hey. And it's so wonderful how an eagle bird can go into a higher degree that even the flight and they leave you that height to come down without anything parachute or nothing you just come down will you survive your bones and your everything <laughs> flight for look at the part the particles scatter just like that but the eagle can go and sometimes they leave their feathers and their wings and they will be just be carried by the wind. Come in, come in. And they go again. And eagle is the strongest bird. And he says, your life is renewed like that of what? The eagle. Which means whilst you are growing and you are getting tired, he brings renewal. He refreshes you again. Glory to God. He renews your energy again. You, so when you are saying, I'm tired, oh God, I can't. No, just say, Lord, give me divine strength. Renew Hallelujah. my strength. Renew my strength. Lord, this I cannot, I'm tired. Lord, renew my strength. That is your prayer. Every day, Lord, renew my strength. Lord, renew my strength. Hallelujah. Lord, renew my strength. He says he renews your strength. Even your old age, you can't feel it. You feel you are 18 years. You run. You run. You run. You run. You run. He gives you long life. He gives you grace to accomplish your vision on earth. Pray Jesus. And it comes when we enjoy praise and what? Worship. Oh God. Powerful. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. I like this. So that my youth is renewed like the eagle. In the eagle believer here. In the eagle child of God. Eagle Christian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you are an ego child, an ego believer. Mm. Praise Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So don't let him come on your way and to obstruct you. Don't, don't, don't give him the opportunity. Don't give him a, an, a chance. Don't. Amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep on praising him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Who is to be praised or who to praise God? Who is to praise God? Those who seek God. Psalm 22 verse 26. Who seek the Lord will praise him. Those who seek the Lord are to be praised or they praise the almighty God. Let me paraphrase it to you. Yes. Psalm 22 verse 26. Psalm 22 verse 26. Mm -hmm. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. Mm -hmm. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. It says they shall praise the Lord. The meek will be what? Will be satisfied. The meek, the humble, will be what? Will be satisfied. satisfied. And they will continue to do what? Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise him. The meek, all of us, we are in that. We come to the almighty God. Today is a blessed day, a holy day. Across the globe, all over, Christians are praising. Christians have gathered. They have congregated. Some are on social media. Some are in their homes. Some have gathered under caves and places. Some are on the mountains. They are praising the almighty God. He says the meek will be satisfied. Praise Jesus. And they will praise the almighty God. Everything that has benefit or breath, everything that has what? Breath. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is Psalm 150 verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise, praise God. Hallelujah. Animals praise God. Objects praise God. He says let everything that has breath, breath praise, the Lord. praise God. Do you know that stones also have breath? Sometimes they expand. Mm -hmm. And when they are expanding, they are praising God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, let everything that has breath praise, the Lord. praise God. And we, we, you and I, we have breath. So we are what? We must praise God. Amen. Thank you, praise Jesus. him. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise every blessed day. Amen. When do we praise God? When do we praise God? At all times. Hallelujah. At all times. Psalm 34 verse 1. At all times. Amen. It says, when do we praise God? At all times. I will exalt the Lord at all times. His Amen. praise will always be on my lips. Wow. Hallelujah. His praise will always be on my lips. I will praise the Lord at all times. Not in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night, he says, at all times. Amen. I will praise him. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will praise the Lord at all times. times. In every circumstances, I will praise the Lord. Let's read First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. So we must learn to praise the Almighty God at all times. Amen. First Thessalonians 5.16. Rejoice evermore. Continue. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. In everything, give thanks. It says in everything. So we praise him, we give him thanks in everything. At all times. Where are we to praise God? Where are we to praise him? Where are we? When we surround ourselves with God's people. When we surround ourselves with God's people. With our family. With our loved ones. We praise him. We praise him in the name of God. The Father. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. Among nations. Praise him when we are on our bed. Even when you are about to take your meal, you praise him. 
Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for England. We don't share morning or we don't offer prayer for a meal. The moment the meal comes, we start. No prayer. Hallelujah. Sometimes when I go to some of the places, I'll be waiting to see if somebody is going to pray before they take their meal. And they don't. And when you go there and you start, you close your eyes and you are praying. You are praying. After 30 minutes, you haven't finished your prayer. And they look at you. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You bless it. You sanctify it. And you eat. Do you dance and rejoice before you take your meal? <laughs> no. Hallelujah. Somebody is looking for just breakfast. And it's hard. Somebody is looking for lunch. And it's hard. Somebody is looking for a dinner. And it's hard. The amount of food that is being thrown away. Whereby some places they are looking for it. So if God opens the door and he blesses you, you must be thankful and praise him and bless him. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Two, worship. 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 We worship God in what? In spirit. And we worship him in truth. And worship brings what? The power of the almighty God. Worship brings what? An anointing. Worship brings revelation. When you are worshiping God, your spiritual eyes open. You fall into a trance. Worship opens your mind to know what is ahead of time. It gives you an advanced information. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in our days, we find it very difficult to go into deeper worship. Go into proper worship. We have allowed time to beat us. And we go by singing or we go by seeking Different means and consulting different mediums to get what? Power. We don't think about it. All that we want is the solution. All that we want is the answer. Praise Jesus. But if we can go on our knee, fall on our knee, and begin to worship the almighty God, answers will be given. Keys will be given. Strength will be given. Provision will be given. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It is very important for us to worship the almighty God. It is very important. And last week I was, we were reading from First Samuel and we Steady how Samuel was serving and was ministering to the almighty God. And the presence of the almighty God came upon him. And he was able to win favor in the sight of God. The Bible says he ministered to God. And that is worship. When we minister to the almighty God. His presence comes upon us. It was not in his covenant, in the way that because he chose to do it. And God is judging the family of failure. God said, no, let me prove it to you. See, worship can cause you to attract what you don't deserve. Unmerited love. Uncommon favor. Worship. Let's take it for instance. This one belongs to so so and so. And this person doesn't worship God. But this person has built quality time. 
devote times to praise the almighty God, to worship God. God can bring what is on this to the holy. God can cause you to win what belongs to this person. He can transfer it Hallelujah. So it's very important for all of us to enter into the spirit of what? Worship. Let me give you the scriptures then. Singing, Psalm 9 verse 2. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. He says, I will rejoice and be glad to sing unto you, what? Most high. Now, when we are singing and we are praising God, we do it with our, what? Lips, on top of our voice. On top of what? Our voice. Now, let's come to Psalm 47, verse 1 as well. Psalm 47, verse Verse 1. We do it on top of our voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. It says, clap your hands, all ye people. Mm -hmm. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. A voice of what? Triumph. That is when you are praising God. You can also do it as worship as well by clapping. Voice of what? Triumph. You have triumphed over your enemies. He gives the strength to triumph over a situation. We triumph over what? Afflictions. May you triumph over every situation this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Every attack, every evil projection in the mighty name of Jesus. May you triumph over it as you worship the almighty God, as you praise your mighty God. May you triumph over demonic evil arrows in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody triumphing over evil. I see somebody triumphing over cases, court cases. I see somebody triumphing over situation that is beyond your ability in the mighty name of Jesus. I see you triumphing over your financial situation in the mighty name of Jesus. I see you triumphing over your health challenges in the mighty name of Jesus. Family issues in the mighty name of Jesus. I see you triumphing over issues that are beyond, issues that are beyond, issues that are beyond, issues that have become a burden upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the anointing of the almighty God, you are triumphing over those situations and God is going to give you victory. God is going to give you an upper hand over the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, his grace is coming upon you. His strength is coming upon you as never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, shout I receive it. I receive it. Yes. Yes, Lord. We triumph over wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Wickedness. Triumph over it. Amen. Psalm 63, verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 63, verse 4. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. He says, that's why we praise him and we bless him. We lift up our hands. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. So these are the elements. Mm? These are the elements. Because of time, I will cut it and we will continue another time. These are the elements. Clapping, lifting up of our hands. And we can also do it with what? Instruments and things like that with our body. Standing, kneeling down and dancing. All are part of the elements that we use in praises and in worshiping the almighty God. God Hallelujah. bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's read our last scripture, then we bring our word to a conclusion. Then we take our communion today being the first Sunday of the month of October. Psalm 45 verse 6. Psalm 45 verse 6. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. The scepter of the kingdom. So the reason why we praise him because his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. The kingdom of God is the everlasting kingdom. All other kingdoms will what? Will perish. But the kingdom of the almighty God will stand forever. That is the reason why you and I, 
we, we, are, we have to so, we are so excited. I'm so excited to be in the kingdom of God, not in the kingdom of witches. In the kingdom of witches, one day you can fly and you can be exposed. <laughs> in the kingdom of witchcraft. So today, let me go to this place and go and see what is. And on your way going, an angel will, walk, will strike you. Praise Jesus. In the kingdom of the Zodians, in the kingdom of other powers, you can belong to there and you cannot also come back the next day. But in the kingdom of God, oh, when you enter into the throne room of God, anointing comes upon you. When you enter into the throne room of God, angels are around you. In the kingdom of God, favor, every blessed day, favor, every blessed day, promotion, every blessed day, you are qualified, every blessed day, you are renewed, every blessed day, you are favored by grace. Every blessed day, testimonies and miracles. Every blessed day, he gives you an ability to enjoy. He gives you grace to win the battle. Every blessed day, he takes you to the next level. You are being elevated every blessed day. That is in the kingdom of the almighty God. You don't do any sacrifice that will cause you pain. You don't do any sacrifices that will take your family away. In the kingdom of God, is full of what? Rejoicing. We rejoice every blessed day. Hallelujah. When I was in the college, the college is by a church. And anytime the church, the church do worship Tuesdays. Sometimes I'll be in the classroom and we'll be doing worship and the thing will kick me. And, I, and I'll just come out as if I'm going out to do something. But before you realize, I'm in the church praising God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Why? Where there is praise, the attraction, the magnetized force that is being released from the throne room is beyond. It's a force. It's an energy. And when that energy comes upon you, nothing can resist it. So any child that prays God, you enter into that child's family or into that home, you can feel that this house prays God. Hallelujah. Yes. Any house that you enter and it's a house that belongs to a child of God, you feel the presence of the almighty God. You can feel that, yes, power is here. You can feel that, yes, an ark resides here. Praise Jesus. That's why when the ark of God was given or entered into the house of Obededom, the Bible says Obededom began to succeed within some few months. This month I declare the ark of God into your house. I release the hand of God into your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I declare the power of your most high God should go with you this morning. May your household be filled with angels. May your dwelling place be filled with the supernatural power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May the grace of your mighty God, may the hand of the supernatural power be released upon you in the name of Jesus. When the presence of God is around you, no demon can come near you. No evil. Let them gather together against you. They will fail. They will not succeed. They will not achieve because the presence and the power of God is so strong in the name of Jesus. And you don't have to let the enemy continue to rule your life. Sometimes we forget about who we are. And we allow situations, issues, burdens, without knowing that if you can fall into his arm and begin to praise him, anything at all is possible. Anything at all. Anything at all. Even if you want to be the queen of England, it's possible. <laughs> Somebody will say, but... I don't belong. I wasn't born in oh God, the Almighty God, the man out there. He changes times and seasons. Hmm. He changes what? Times and seasons. He installs kings and he uproots kings. He does what? Install kings and uproots. 
he had put them, he did their foundation eh, and put somebody who is qualified there. And you are qualified. And this month of October is your month of establishment. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's a man that you enjoy. Glory upon glory. Testimony upon testimony. I don't know what is in your heart this morning. I don't know what you are asking your mighty God. And I don't know what is contending with you. And I don't know what you want God to come in. And I don't know what you want God to intervene. But I see the grace and the hand of God intervening in that situation. I see the power of God. I see the goodness of your mighty God coming upon you as never before. Oh, I feel like preaching. Oh, yes. But time, 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 time. Oh, masata lili asukataya. Lekirio sata balabo sikiliriandaya. Something is going to happen. Something good. Something good, child of God. Something wonderful is going to take place. You will win it. I say you will win it. Because your name is the winner. You will win it. Praise Jesus, they will not succeed. And they cannot sit on you. They have done it for years. But this time they have failed. They have failed. They have failed. They tried to drink your blood and eat your flesh. Oh, but their plans has been thwarted in the name of Jesus. Their plans has been canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible declares that the counsel of the Lord will stand. But the counsel of the enemy will perish. As I bring it to a conclusion, may God Almighty who formed you in the womb of your mom, may he surprise you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome you into this month that is the last month in the calendar and in the good books of the Almighty God. It's the last. The rest are just humanity. But the last month In God's calendar. Because it's the last. Anything that is meant for you 2021, you will enjoy it. Praise Jesus. Anything that is recorded in the volumes of the book, you will see it with your eyes. Praise Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. I want you to talk to the Almighty God. Pray to God. Ask him to bless you. Ask him to protect you. Ask for his will to be done in your life. His will to be done in your life. His will. His will. His will. Talk to him one more time. Talk to him one more time. Lord, let your will be done. In my life, let your will be done. In my children's life, let your will be done. In my family, let your will be done. In the ministry, in the church, let your will be done. In our society, let your will be done. In England, let your will be done. Let your will be done, Lord Jesus. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. One more time, let your will be done. At workplace, let your will be done, Lord Jesus. Let your will be done. Across cities and nations, Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Jehovah, let your will be done. King Jesus, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Almighty God, let your will be done. Father, this month, oh God, let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done. 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 Let your will manifest. In the name of Jesus, in every area, let your will be done. Continue to bless. Continue to bless us, oh Lord. Continue to protect and provide in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, hallelujah. We praise you, we praise you, hallelujah. We thank you that you have opened all our doors. Gates is open in the name of Jesus. Healing is taking place in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it again. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Can we have the communion, please? As we prepare ourselves to... Come to the table, take wine and bread, consecrate your heart and your mind, ask him to renew and 
restore him to come for a cup and the bread which signifies the blood of Jesus. Washes us. Oh, oh the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Is Jesus' blood is not the blood of man, oh, not the blood of animal. The it is the blood of the Almighty God. Jesus, it is a precious blood. It's the blood that heals, the blood that renews. Father, we thank you this morning as we come to pick a bread and a wine, Lord Jesus. Restore and renew our strength. Restore our covenant relationship with you this month of October in the mighty name of Jesus. Watch over us. Heal our infirmities. Lose us in the name of Jesus. Bless us beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray and I declare your hand and your presence upon it. And we sanctify it in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That as we come in faith to pick a bread and a wine, in faith we'll be healed. In faith we'll be renewed. In faith we'll be restored. And it will manifest physically in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Jesus, and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please come and pick the cup and the bread. Thank you for the blood in faith. of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank Thank you for the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Oh, oh the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. She's white as snow. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Pray over it and take it in faith. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus.
Sacrifice of praise into the house. 